Hi kids! Welcome to Science 4. For today, we are going to discuss the materials that undergo decay. Our main objective for today's lesson is to classify materials based on the ability to undergo decay. Let's go! Have fun while learning! Last time, we discussed about the materials that absorb water. When you say absorb, it means to take in something, such as liquid. Now, can you give me an example of materials that absorb water? Very good! What about the materials that float? Correct. By the way, when you say float, it means to stay on top. How about the materials that sink? What are they? That's right. You still recall that when we say sink, it is to fall to the bottom of a water. And always remember that if the density of an object is higher than the density of water, that object will sink in water. And if the density is less than the water, the object will float. I have here two pictures. What do you observe in the pictures? You're right. The first picture shows that it is fresh baked, while the other one have molds. What do you think is the reason why it looks like that? Correct. It because it starts to decay. What are the factors that contribute to the decaying process of the material? You're right. Now let's have an activity. The title of this activity is, What Will I Turn Into? For the first group, your task is to spot the difference between the two pictures. For group 2, you are going to list down the factors that contribute to the decaying process of materials. For group 3, you are going to draw 3 materials that decayed fast and 3 materials that decayed slowly. For group Four, you're going to classify the materials to decaying and non-decaying. Based in our activity, you have noticed that this rice undergo decay. When you say decay, it means to be slowly destroyed or broken down by natural processes. Decay materials will differ in texture, color, size, shape, and odor. Some of the factors that contribute to the decaying process of the materials are amount of light or the sunlight because when food is exposed to sunlight, it decays. The next one is the temperature. When the temperature is hot, it will also contribute to the decaying process. Next is the water or the moisture of the food. Next is air, followed by soil and the action of microorganisms such as the bacteria and Fungi. 
Here are the examples of decaying materials. We have dead plants, dead animals, leftover food, twigs, leaves, and vegetable scraps. Here are the things we should remember. The first one, not all plants and animals decay at the same time because some were compressed underwater and thick layers of soil over millions of years. They were converted into fossil fuels such as coal, oil, or natural gas. These fuels are used by power stations, factories, motor vehicles, and others. Some materials decay fast, just like the organic matter in soil. It becomes an organic fertilizer. Organic fertilizer from compost peat does not harm but enrich the soil. I have here a question for you. How will you keep your material that can be decayed? You're right, you can keep the decaying materials by making a compost pit, where the organic waste will allow to decompose naturally. This process will promote growth of beneficial microorganisms that facilitate in composting process. Another question for you. Why are leftover foods kept in refrigerator? Correct! Leftover foods kept in refrigerator to prevent from decaying or spoiling. We should keep them in a cold storage to be frozen. The low temperature prevents harmful bacteria from destroying the food. To understand better our lesson, please get your notebook or paper to answer the following. The materials are given in the list. Classify them into the decaying or non-decaying by putting a check on it. Are you ready? Go! Let's check your answers. For number one, fish, the correct answer is decaying. For number two, wood, the correct answer is decaying. Number three, glasswares, it's non-decaying. Number four, plastic wares, non-decaying. And number five, flowers, it's decaying. I do hope you got a perfect score. Good job, kids! For your last task, you're going to list down five examples of decay materials that can be found in your home. That's all for today, kids. Thank you, kids, for watching. I hope you learned something from it. See you again next time. Bye-bye.